Welcome back for more Ace Combat 7. I'm gonna mm. move on to mission number two. As of 1 p.m. today, the Kingdom of Arugia has declared yeah, the, war. Yeah, that's a really bizarre aperture for that camera. Probably as as overexposing. Out, enemy aircraft began bombing Ocean territory, causing widespread destruction. The Air Defense Force has released a statement saying this violent attack was carried out by drones. They speculate oh, the robots are declaring more uh, more literal than we expected. and launched remotely. The Secretary of the Navy <laughs> has stated that the enemy was targeting naval ports across the country. According to the Secretary, all of the nation's aircraft carriers, Banner including port. one still under construction, <laughs> <laughs> severe damage in the attack. <laughs> we have yet to hear back Hartman as to the fate of Ocean carriers currently at sea. What is it? What's up with the little, like, countries over there? Ratio? Belka? The Fado? Recta. Hardly knew. <laughs> hardly the knew the, the Nordlands? <laughs> by the Erusian army. Reports say former President Harling was touring the site at the time, but his current whereabouts are unknown. He did. Our sources in government tell us it was just got stuck on the elevator. Regarding the space elevator that caused economic frictions in the area. And <laughs> like that news logo. This war. Eh, screw it. Throw the, throw the whole prism. Throw the whole freaking color palette in there. Who cares? For some time now. The executive office of the Ocean Federation has declared a national state. Totally of not the White House. They have ordered all its armed forces, including <laughs> copyright yeah. by the White House. <laughs> yes, that circle of stars is copyrighted. By a little star, by the way. It's actually, I think there's a, I think there's a footnote to it. Further updates. <laughs> Breaking news from ENN. This is ENN. Also an attack on the capital today, <laughs> striking Farbanti from their aircraft carrier, the Kestrel II. Not Farbanti. Far <laughs> the Arusian Air Force successfully repelled them. During the air raid, What's next? The You're going to name a country Djibouti? The city and I mean, come on. A number of Arusian fighters. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into the capital of Try a little bit harder to give them legit names. Oh, wait, sorry. This is the capital of Ligma. <laughs> the world was <laughs> God. The Earth got slammed by an asteroid. In the great so state of Hanway. <laughs> lad, pull up. The the biggest country on the Clearly, planet. this lad did not pull up. Yeah, why didn't you read the sign, dumbass? <laughs> One they had no hope of winning. That's the war my dad fought and died in. The biggest damn wars. Talk about owned. Head to head. And the so called righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. They fancied themselves the only nation. Damn centrists. To the world. They damn tried saving negotiating peace, peace and, and stuff like that. Yeah, neutral bastards. Perpetual war everywhere. Yeah, seriously, how else would we have our shiny f air toys? Paid for by the <laughs> Restructing you see. Said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. You see what? Shoot. But to the folks in Arusia, it looked like Osia was moving in. Our our science. Well, it's volume, not their science. Volume 1033. <laughs> they've been around for a while. Oh wow, yeah, that that magazine's war, pretty they managed to get pretty old. No, it seems like it's a monthly. The second, the so that's nine years. Arusian well, still, the control of the space elevator without space. Ten thirty-three. President Harling was touring the elevator when it happened. If it's you're monthly, right. you're right. You're right. Ten no. years would be 120 well, months. Right, right. You're right. <laughs> so that magazine's been around for like 90 years. Nice. Grunder. <laughs> no one thought they were capable of doing what they did that day. With pinpoint accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military. And not a single civilian was hurt in the process. Damn. Now you know it's Ocea science fiction, because that's not how drones really work. <laughs> Erugia didn't have the same reach, but they could hit their targets faster and cleaner. It's and just a flying missile. Down, it really actually is a piece of paper, dragons. cleverly folded. <laughs> <laughs> the origami fighters. We already saw this. What the hell? <laughs> well, this way was much quicker. In case you were wondering, ah. yeah, I survived. Oh, that would have been way more interesting if you were dead. I thought this was going to be like insert spoiler here. <laughs> the world went from being at peace to being at war. Because I know a specific movie where they kill off the narrator, but even telling you what movie that is would probably be a pretty big spoiler. <laughs> Uh, 
And I was happy for it, because now school's out forever. School's been blown to pieces. For company, I had some court-martialed soldiers. And remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship too. Ooh, old planes. Yeah, we have no budget. For several days, and then swung east. That's how I got here. I was thousands of kilometers from Arusia, on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. See, I don't know where the hell anybody is right now. Yeah. <laughs> just, just smile and nod. The fences were topped with razor wire. The tower had a searchlight and machine guns. And a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Its gun was aimed at the yard. Zapland. This was a prison. This place looked like a full-on base. It's named that for the electric fences. Big balloons. Damn! Look at those guys hauling that truck around like it's nothing. Yeah, they're they're tough. Don't just screw with this military. <laughs> They'll just. Throw a truck at you, apparently. Yep. They knew I'd restored a supersonic plane. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed planes they brought. Yay, they Frankenstein plane. Runway. Can you believe that shit? So, I tried to escape. They found out. And set the dogs on me. The hell, is this beginning of Resident Evil now? <laughs> well, they're, I think these dogs are alive, so that's a, that's oh. a big difference. Ah, I see. Get our fancy UI going here. Erusia has made a declaration to the Ocean Federation and all countries on the Yuzhen continent stationing the IUN. You know, the IUN has the Leaf logo, and yet somehow that Leaf right looks smug. Surprise attacks began around the time that a <laughs> okay. major damage. It's got a smirk. How do you make a smug leaf? Uh, apparently these guys pulled it off. Oh crap. Purple everywhere. That's bad. That's good to know. Okay. Not turn a blind eye to this critical situation. <laughs> we want our space elevator. Where's my Where's space, my space elevator? elevator? <laughs> As an advanced element. First, you will attack all hostiles coming in the east of Schofield Plateau to stop any interference with the Allied ground troops. Okay. Sounds the reasonable. Enemy has deployed several vehicles equipped with anti-air radar along the roads. Oh, just you are to and they're no, they're all in a nice little line too. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. However, there is a high likelihood that the attack will draw more enemy air support. No, you mm. think? If that happens, fight them off swiftly and establish air superiority. Sure. We have air superiority. <laughs> all right. Well, since. Well, yeah. Since we uh, flew the F-16 last time, let's go with the F-4 here. Ooh. So the F-4 seems more like the, the F-4 seems like it's all business. Not nearly as happy to be involved here. Yeah, it's not not quite as happy as the uh, the F-16 was. Although, if you look at it at the right angle, maybe it is a little bit. Nah, it's got a little bit of a shine. <laughs> the shine smile, I guess, but it's not really a physical feature of the plane. <laughs> It's all right. all right. Not anyway. everyone has to be that enthusiastic about their job. <laughs> all right, so we've got some bombs. Ugh, we've got air ground missiles. Sasm. Egg. And some short range. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show these off a little bit here. Because um, these are kind of fun in terms that if they miss, they blow up near the target and do damage anyway. So we're going to use those. Nice. For no reason whatsoever. <laughs> Fireworks from hell, more or less. <laughs> oh boy, it's a celebration! Blab! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a fun way to go out, I suppose. Celebrate good times. Oh no! <laughs> 
All right, let's get this over with. Still military vehicles and anti-air weaponry. Destroy the target. But HQ has made it clear that no harm should come to civilians and no damage should be done to public facilities. No harm to civilians. That's no fun at all. Fun is that. Shot down could land in civilian territory. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. Screw them. They knew what they signed up for when they paid their taxes. A little late for that, pal. It's popping off now, trigger. A little bit. Trees. <laughs> no, I say not gonna get guns on that one, apparently. No. Target destroyed. Five to go. I like how these guys are like halfway through announcing what's going on after it's happened. Oh no! I've had my I'm they're shooting at me and half of my face has been blown off and I've lost three arms. Three arms? Uh, it's it's been a rough day. Enemy interceptors inbound. to engage in thirty seconds. Oh, they're gonna shoot at me now. Yeah, they're they're gonna shoot quite a bit at you apparently. Wow, yeah, they're gonna shoot a lot of missiles at me. Holy they crap. Are, they are not pleased. It's like here, have all of the missiles. Radar was two days from retirement. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm getting there. Can't you guys do some of my work? Fart. 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 <laughs> and down. Boom. Boom. You're welcome, Skykeeper. No oh, hello. Oh my. Oh boy, yeah, that just lit a hole. God, hello, Caroline. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Getting an ocean of bullets poured in your direction, and it's fine. Yeah. Everything's fine. Well, I mean, why do you think they had all those radars? They were trying oh, to hello. form a pan they were trying to form a pentagram to make this work, and you interrupted uh. that. Oof. That was nice. They also mess with your HUD and radar. The Zegers can sometimes lose their lock on to their targets, too. Locked. Enemy moves will be picked. Evading. All right. This base is worth destroying. Every base is worth destroying. Why do you think they make them? <laughs> ah, this base right here? Ah, screw that base. This is... This is a baby base. Oh boy, that was a uh, that was a big boom. Yeah, that was that was a little bigger than expected. All right, get a hard turn, get over here. Come here, you. It's an interesting maneuver. I just needed to create space and turn around. Didn't create enough space though. Oh well. Now you dead. No, I was oh, wait, no, you're not. It was a hit, not a kill. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> you're fine. You got this. I wasn't cool with that. I was already going really effing slow when that missile was coming at me. <laughs> there we go. Down. Screw them civvies. Nice use of cloud cover. Yes. <coughs> Where is it? Check your 
I'm fine. They are not being friendly right now. Now, I would imagine... I can imagine why not. Alright. We're gonna have fun with you. <laughs> Ooh, that was fancy. Oh, ow. Oh, ow. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't good. Boof, boof. I got him before the cutscene. <laughs> uh -oh. More drones! Oh no. They're shooting drones at us. <laughs> They're like... How'd I get up here all of a sudden? And he ran like a fool. No kidding. Okay. Oh boy, that was not a good shot. <laughs> Never heard of him in my life. Alright, got a hit. Come here. Bandits are drones, here. but then what are the bandits? <laughs> it's like an SAT question. It's like, all bandits are drones, but only some drones are bandits, I guess. Ugh. Whatever the heck that is. Come here, come here, come here. Haha! <laughs> nice. That was nice. Just dump it right behind right his doorstep there. <laughs> Big old flaming right, turd for you. <laughs> oh, really? He flew into the clouds. Well, no. I mean, did you see that break? That's more of a uh, computer BS than anything. Oh, come on. Oh, it is a drone. Trying to do. Gotcha. Alright. Oh, that was not a good shot. I thought I, I couldn't tell what direction he was going. He was coming towards me. Take that farmland. Oh. <laughs> Apparently that's not a civilian casualty if you just, just drop a drop a plane on a on the far line. Yeah, no. I don't know. I guess cows don't count. Nope. Nobody counts cows. Woo. I mean, maybe in the Nordlands, but who cares about them? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I didn't. I totally didn't just buzz that random barn. What are you talking about? Oh, this is what's left of that base. No. <laughs> sure, base. That's what they all say. <laughs> Ooh, the slice turn. Chop, chop. You've given the right. first barrier keeping us from retaking the space elevator is gone. Also, a bunch of civilians are also gone. <laughs> that is not related. I assure you. But the space you. elevator isn't yours. I thought that was the whole point. It will be ours. <laughs> we'll just take it. Take it for ourselves. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's look at the uh, the briefing for the next one here. Ooh, two prongs. It's one more prong than usual. <laughs> the 
surprise attacks carried out after the declaration of war saw the peacekeeping forces of various countries, including Osea, suffer major damage. Totally not our fault. The ships moored around the space elevator and near Gandar Bay have been hit particularly hard. Numerous it's Tyler ships Island. Sunk and abandoned. <laughs> Fortunately, just belongs to Tyler. He's a cruel Better not land on he's Tyler a, Island. He's a cruel but fair despot. <laughs> Kestrel 2 is now preparing to launch Expo City. Lots of the cons capital, there. Barbanti. The aircraft carrier Bolton also managed to escape Bay Directions are well, north, south, and Dennis. Aircraft, so it's sailing empty. <laughs> Today, the International Union Peacekeeping Force reclaims its bid to the space elevator. Oh, is that what our little thing is? International Air Base Squad Union Network? I don't know. Uh, we're basically a rogue UN from what I understand. <laughs> in order to secure a route or Choppenberg. Mm. The enemy maintains air superiority over Choppenberg. So expect heavy resistance from enemy aircraft. Okay. There's more. So listen. Oh, oh there's more. Right the start of the war, but the wait, there's more. Roka Roja. No shit. Why is Roka Roja next to the Ginshi Valley? The Ocean Army headed up the development of the massive Arsenal birds and dispatched them to the space elevator to provide support. However, it's been reported that the carriers may have fallen into the hands of the Erujian forces. So of course for they have. What kind of fun would it be otherwise? Yeah, seriously. We need to regain control of the space elevator ASAP. But why? I don't understand why it's such a crucial objective. So we can use the elevator to get to space. Come on. It's really obvious. Uh, anyway, there's our briefing <laughs> for the next mission. <laughs> nice brief briefing. Yes. No cutscenes or anything like that this time. <laughs> We got everybody else up there. Oh, and there's all the things yeah. All right, so we're shooting at. You said that the Gollum Squad was the red shirts. Go back to your. Uh, go back there. I saw that there were some dudes there marked specifically Ally times four. <laughs> yeah, those guys don't even get call signs. They're extra screwed. <laughs> Well, we'll find out what happens to them <laughs> may, next time. It may as well just be marked expendable times four. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, see you then when we fly mission three. Farewell.